Hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 242 of Sonic Boom TV. I had to think about it there for a second. This is my third video in a row, and I keep my numbers straight. Uh, so, yes, yeah, 242. So, this episode is the Hammer of the Gods Led Zeppelin uh, episode. <laughs> no, um, last month or so... Uh, a friend of mine uh, who lives in Florida had contacted me and said that he wanted to get the comics that I had done several years ago. Um, he, he wanted to get copies of those, and I told him what I had. I have, like, I don't know, 10 issues or something like that. And he, he asked, uh, you know, he wanted to tr if I wanted to trade those for some records. I said, well, my comics, you know, cover price or basically 40 bucks um and he, oh and I'm, I'm a magazine that, that i did um that was basically free though uh you know it, not that it didn't cost me anything but i gave it away uh i only had one issue of that though um but anyway so he wanted to trade and he's like just showing me some stuff and he had some great stuff like he had original like metallica uh he had a couple old metallica albums that are probably worth a ton of money uh and then, um, you know, he had some other stuff. And a lot of it wasn't really anything I really wanted. Um, but then he came out and he had some Led Zeppelin records. And, and I have most of the studio albums. Um, I had, had. I was missing a couple. But they're not in the best shape. So the covers are pretty rough. And uh, they're some of them are pretty scratchy. So... Some of these are replacements that that will be much cleaner. I listened to three of them already, uh, but or no, I listened to two of them already. I'm sorry, uh, but these are these are upgrades for me. Um, one of them I'm not even sure I'm supposed to show on here because of I know the cover is controversial, but I, I don't even know, I don't know how I can cover it. Maybe I'll figure that out when I get to it. I'm sure you guys know already what I'm, what I'm talking about if you're a Led Zeppelin fan. But anyway, so he gave me these. He traded me these. The records are pretty clean. I haven't cleaned them. Um, there's no problems on the two I've listened to so far. Um, but we've got Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, I, I believe these are 80s pressings. This is not like the Robert Ludwig version that everybody goes crazy for. Um, definitely not that. Um, but the cover is pretty clean on this one. A um, little, little wear around the edges, but the record is nice. Um, not really going to have to... You know, black vinyl, of course. I'm not even going to take them all out. Um, I'm just going to go with... I'll look at the records and they all look... They don't. There's no scratches or anything. They might be dirty, but there are no scratches. Um, so I had, did a little cleaning on that one. Not much. And it played fine. Next one up is Led Zeppelin 3. Uh, some people say this is their favorite one. It's, one, it's got some good stuff on it. Um, very nice. It's got, still got the little thing that turns. Whatever you want to, I don't know what you call that. Uh, or why you do this. Why, why did they Led Zeppelin do this? And this is a very psychedelic looking cover. But the music is not really psychedelic or anything. Um, uh... This one's got Immigrant Song is, is the, the biggest hit, I think, off of this one. Uh, uh, but listen to this one as well. Uh, it's got a little uh, water damage on it. You can see, like, it's staining. It's not really... It doesn't affect the, the cover too much. Um, and I may be able to clean it off. I, I, I don't know. I haven't got into that part yet, but you can see it on the back a little bit better right there, up in there. It's it's just like, these records, some of his records got wet at some point, uh, at least damp enough to make some of them stick together, and you'll see that. In there. Um, so the next one, the one I have to kind of censor for you guys, because I don't know if this is a lot, but Houses of the Holy. Uh, we've got that one. Um, these little alien looking children butts I don't know if that's good enough for censorship but we did it uh, but you can see right there that that tear 
that that is uh i don't that's where the record was stuck oh, it's showing it sorry but that right there is showing where the record was stuck to another record uh on the inside the the two the bottom corners were stuck i don't know if they were stuck when i got them or when he, before he sent them to me um but they were definitely stuck at one point and now they are unstuck um got the inner sleeve still uh i haven't looked to see if these have any value on discogs yet um I, but I, I they're clean they're clean and i didn't want them for the value really i, I just was trying to make a fair trade and he was like you can have a little extra if it goes over whatever the value is i don't know what the value of these are really i, I know if they were original early pressings they'd probably be worth a good bit but uh you know not much oh and how's the holy i never had i never had that one before um which i don't even know what's on this one uh and i still don't know what's on it let's see <coughs> the song remains the same uh over the hills and far away that's a good one uh dancing days dire maker this is a good album the ocean yeah that one's been covered by a lot of people um so yeah this is a really good album so i'm glad i got that one so so my leds i'm almost complete on led zeppelin albums but i really do need to get a new copy of number of the first one and i might buy the walmart version of it because mine is scratchy as can be it's it's bad um this one i have it but i never had it with the uh the cover the paper cover uh this is uh in through the outdoor um this one uh in the evening, southbound, Suarez, Fool in the Rain, Hot Dog, Carousel, Alhambra, all my, all my Love, and I'm Gonna Crawl. Um, and I think All My Love is the song, the only song I really was into on this one, so pretty much. Um, but, nice cover. Nice cover, and I never had the paper sleeve on mine. Uh, inner sleeve. Very nice, very nice. This one... They all must have had some kind of damage because you can even see right there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it or not, guys. Let me get a better angle. Right there is a little yellowing. So these all got the corner got wet on them for some some reason. Uh, but they're very clean. I mean, they're 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 dusty, but very clean records. So um, I'm gonna have a highly upgraded Led Zeppelin connect collection now um i do have some of the others um i'm only missing i think one now um we'll see i gotta look and see what the uh what they are and then the last one i got from him is presence um you got a little piece of another cover stuck to it i may be able to get that off little damage right there didn't realize this but the little swan song guy is is right there like embossed if you can see him or not there he is there he is look at him that's the sound he makes then you can see the of course the little stuff there but the records themselves are clean and, and these jackets are probably better than the ones i have too because i found all the ones i have in thrift stores and stuff like that um i have two two or three copies of led zeppelin four and that one may need to be be upgraded as well because i'm not sure the condition of those i know one of them the cover is real bad and it's got like tape and stuff on it and the other one is a little bit better i think it has writing on it um and so and i'm not sure what the records were but i know led zeppelin one definitely needs to be replaced um but I didn't have this one either um, at all. So uh, this is the last album, I believe. Uh, I'm look real quick because I pulled it up. I don't know what's even on this one. Uh, Nobody's Fault, Candy Store Rock, uh, Hots On For Nowhere, T For One. I don't know any of these guys. This might be the worst album. <laughs> uh, Achilles. 
for for your life royal orleans and that's it so yeah i don't know anything on this one so we'll have to this will be like a new album to me um i don't think i've ever listened to it so what i need is physical graffiti um i don't have that one at all uh that i know of i mean i might have the mp3s of of it um but i don't think so i, I but i did have that thing where the uh what was it the the box set that they did with all the I think it had all the songs. I think it had everything in it. Um, it was a box set um, years ago. Uh, let me see something real quick. Uh, two, three, four. Yes, because I have Coda and I have Zeppelin four and one. So the only thing of the main studio albums is uh, Physical Graffiti. So I've, and then I'll have the complete studio albums of Led Zeppelin uh, and I wasn't even trying <laughs> so I picked up a couple of replacement copies or better copies and I got a couple uh, new ones um, and I still need to work on two maybe three more um, I would like let, I mean physical feed I don't even know what's on that so let's see what, what's on that one I think there's a few good ones on there track this in custard pie the rover in my time of dying house of the holy why is that on i don't know uh cashmere trampled underfoot in the light bron year r or your r i'm not sure down with the season that's a good album then 10 years gone night flight the wonton song boogie with stew black country woman and sick again so yeah i need to get that one um so you know uh Led Zeppelin for me um, has never been the band that I had to have. I liked them. I respected what they did. I know they kind of get accused of ripping off a lot of blues artists, which may be true. Sorry about that. Um, which may be true, but and I'm probably pretty sure it is true. But they also influenced a lot of heavy metal bands. Um, from, you know, a lot of people say that Black Sabbath was the, you know, creator or whatever of heavy metal that, you know, can be discussed in many ways and many, I you know, many results. But, but I think Led Zeppelin probably had more of a, what was to come in the 80s. Um, you know, they were all the bands that went, came after them into the 80s. Uh, I believe were more influenced by them than Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath would have been like some of the real heavy bands, you know, who would have followed them more, more so than what the like the glam metal stuff and or hair metal, whatever you want to call it. Those people were more inspired by the Led Zeppelin kind of stuff um, with the high pitched vocals and the, you know big big guitars and stuff like that um you know so i'm glad to have these um you know i i he's got more stuff i don't know what he's got um but you know i i don't uh i mean i may get some more stuff from him i just don't know i'm trying like i said i'm trying to cut back a little bit in my other video i said that i was trying to cut back on buying you know i, I just keep finding more and more sources to get stuff at not a bad price and you know you you sit around and you think about it and you're waiting to get paid and you're like okay i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that but then you've waited a week to get paid and when you get paid you just oh well I'll, what did i think about during those days that i could get and and then you start trying to get those things it's it's a weird weird little addiction uh you know and and um i don't hate it <laughs> Um, but I, I do need to, to be careful a little bit more um, with you know how I spend money. So, um, but I'm gonna ask him if he's got those other Led Zeppelins because if he does, I'll probably try to make a deal with him on some of that. Um, and I'm sure he's gonna do it. I mean, he's not he, he, he's not worried about making a bunch of money as far as I know. Um, and uh, he, uh, if I had stuff to trade him, I mean, he would trade me comics. So if I want to if I want to pull out some comics for him. Uh, 
he would definitely trade me that. And, and you know what? I may I may even go and um, search out some comics that that you know he would want uh, old because he likes the old stuff. And it, I don't think the condition matters a whole lot, uh, you know. And so I can come up with some stuff that maybe, but then I'm gonna want it too. So, <laughs> but anyway, John, if you're watching, uh, John in Florida. Uh, if you're watching this video, uh, I may want some more if you got them. <laughs> if you got the other ones, if you've got a copy of Led Zeppelin 1, Physical Graffiti, and a good copy of Led Zeppelin 4, those three need one to complete the collection and two upgrades. If you got those, maybe we work out a deal. Otherwise, I'll probably buy the Walmart versions of, of those uh, and uh, call it a day. Uh, you know, because I don't, I don't need original versions of anything. Um, you know, I just need a version of something most of the time, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and um, anyway, that's in end of this video. Um, I wanna, uh, I wanna go to bed soon, and I'm thinking about not going to bed and making this next fourth episode in a row. So let me do that and then get out of here. Talk to you guys later. Bye.